Calling from a 904 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Um, hey, uh, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, I guess my name is James. I'm from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, James. And, um, I guess uh, one of the questions I had to ask was about veganism, specifically. Um, I think we know, like, PETA is a big advocate for that, obviously. But um, it's, it's kind of evident that they're terrible at it. Um, True. They say stuff like milk gives your kid autism, which is just... Do they say that? I'd, all right, yeah, I would not be surprised. How much milk did you get, drink, Sam? Get to, get to your, uh, but get, uh, get to your point. Let's not uh, make assertions yeah, about sorry. PETA. Um, I've, I've, ne- I've never heard... Uh, do you think that... Yeah, good. Do you think that they would have more success um, advocating for veganism if they, instead of saying, you know, it's uh, killing animals is a bad day, instead focused on the good environmental factors or the good environmental effects it had, that it takes less resources to farm, less carbon emissions... Do you think that would appeal more to the, I guess, lefties that um, are more likely to be vegans anyways? Oh, and fact check, they did say that about milk. Did they really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. What did they say? What did they, they say said, specifically? More research is needed, but scientific studies have shown that many autistic kids improve dramatically when put on a diet free of dairy products, quote unquote. And it goes on to cite some shaky science about the link between milk oh, yeah. and autism. I like that formulation. I don't. I mean, I don't think it needs research, to be but. either or in terms of uh, encouraging it. Now, I'm saying this as someone who is a meat eater. I've, you know, uh, I, I've certainly cut down on the amount of meat that I've eaten uh, over the years, and, um, but I, I think you know. From my perspective, I think uh, selling, you know, pescatarianism and then vegetarianism and then going to veganism is a much easier sale, Um, you know, like starting with, I don't know, Meatless Mondays. And then it becomes Meatless Mondays and Wednesdays. And then it becomes Meatless Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. And I mean, I think that's probably but I I don't know. Maybe there's data out there on how, uh, you know, what the most successful turn to uh, to veganism or vegetarianism or pescatarianism is. All right. Um, a concern I, I had is that, you know, the, the lab-produced meat, is it going to become, like, viable soon? And why is know, that? A, maybe well, 10 years or whatever. Why is that a problem? Well, they can't really use the argument that killing animals is bad against meat that isn't gotten by killing animals. So will that actually... But what's the problem? Are they against lab meat? But why would you be against lab meat? No, I'm not. I'm I'm completely for it. I think it's a great thing. Um, but I'm. Do you think that would impact veganism at all? I think Peter is in favor of lab-grown meat. Animals, and that's kind of just a thing they uh, they talk about. I, I think scientifically, lab-grown meat can make you get ulcers, but it needs more research. No, PETA, actually, uh, I'm PETA. looking at it right now. They're for the lab meat. Yeah, I'm not sure. Why wouldn't they be? I'm not sure I understand the question, but uh, uh, but I, I do appreciate it. Presumably it wouldn't have I mean, the same I mean, I think environmental it's, impact. All right, if sorry it was about lab that. Meat. No, it's all right. I will no, say. I, I, I think that, look, I think um, it would be great in my mind if the um, entire question became moot because there is scientifically grown uh, meat in the lab. I love it. Yeah, I mean... I probably wouldn't need it, but I feel like a lot of people would, would and it would sound, be fine. Why does that sound disgusting? But the actual killing the of, actual killing of meat is disgusting too. Yeah. But you eat that? I don't eat that. I don't eat factory meat. Actually, I don't. Okay, but I got <laughs> I got some bad news for you. Uh, the conditions Bessie, under which those animals are kept are radically incomplete. But why? Do, well, I agree. But that doesn't translate That's what I'm over. Oh, wait a second. To. Wait a second. Oh, I'm not going to get off into some debate no, no, about no, this. No, no, no. It's just just a basic no, observation. I'm just curious about the question of like, why would lab-grown meat be more disgusting than non-factory farmed meat? Like, it's not. They still kill the cow. I mean, I want to clarify. I'm not, I wouldn't I'm not eat it because I'm used part. to being. <laughs> I, I haven't eaten land flesh since I was 12. I'm not grossed out land by the fact flesh? that it's lab meat. Yeah, I, I, I recently added fish back into my but diet. But what is the nature of your lab meat? Yeah, uh, I'm curious. Like, you think lab meat is disgusting. And I'm asking yeah, like the animals basic and factory repulsion. Okay, just and I'm basic, just asking yeah. you, do you think it's more disgusting 
then I'm asking you. No, well, you're being very weirdly evasive about this. I just there's nothing to elaborate on. I'm happy. I mean, you can keep asking me the same <laughs> look at, question. Look at Matt, who no, never gets what? What, what? what? I keep asking the same question. What? What is more the disgusting? The idea of it. I'm not talking about more or less. I'm saying the idea of lab meat strikes me. It sets off. It's it's weird. It's so disturbing. Like, of course, the it's weird. Of it are bizarre. Yes. I don't know. Like. The ethical implications of that, I'm not either, and as well as the potential health consequences. But I mean, I'm, I do think that the idea do sounds you think kind it's of more disgusting, disgusting than, than more disgusting than what than farm grown local meat that has been butchered to for you to eat. Um, probably yes, but less disgusting than industrial meat. Yes. Why? That's just what I think. Oh, yeah, it's just my it's gut not, response. It sounds like rational. somebody's being sponsored by somebody or something. I'm, 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 yeah, team, I'm, being respon- I'm, I'm team, team give me lab meat. Oh, oh I can't wait. I, you have I, no you concerns about unintended health consequences. I have concerns about real meat pure, the same way. Well, real meat from an industrially raised meat is undoubtedly bad for you. That's not even debate. So bring me the lab meat. <laughs> 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 exactly. There's like also like... The, I mean, I... I am, a lot less meat option. And I am when you very do eat meat, uh, get excited about organic meat. grass-fed meat. I am also at the same time sort of like freaked out about it, just because it's freaky deaky. Of oh, course, certainly. it's freaky deaky, and and there's and there's always. I just I don't buy the notion that there aren't like. I'm a precautionary principle person. I buy that policy framework. I don't know what the potential health consequences of like. I'm not someone who just hears like, oh, lab meat, that'll be great. I'm like, I don't know. That could be actually really bad for our health. Are you also against GMOs? I am t- totally not convinced on the safety of GMOs. And I say that with the compl- with the awareness that a bunch of idiots are going to start calling in and nerding out about that again. More research is needed? I mean, Absolutely certainly. More. Of course. You don't think? That, no, I, mean, I agree, yeah. I mean, I, and even that, like, it's so weird, like, this this odd paradox of on one hand, like, this like nerdy fetishization with facts. And then on the other hand, that we all know that funding of research and influence in the process absolutely can distort results. And there's no question. There was even a New York Times piece two years ago that we covered about how GMO research has been influenced by the companies that hold the most interest over it. And I'm not saying it couldn't potentially be safe and i'm not saying it shouldn't be conducted research shouldn't be conducted in a non-profit seeking manner but like no of course like monsanto and a handful of affiliated researchers say it's safe no yeah. that's to me that's not sufficient of course that's, not that's rational i think this comes back to how tech could be good or it could be bad depending on whose hands it's in and i agree we probably shouldn't trust capitalism to regulate something as crucial as the entire world's food supply not to mention like patent like genes and things. and own food sequences but, you there's know, a lot of serious policy implications hypothetically to this stuff. in the right hands in say more socialist hands sure but this kind of technology could be really in, really right? good for the world yeah i wouldn't uh, be sure. first in line but i want to f- I sure. it's not like i'd be, I'd be, I'd be like third in line to just try it and see what it tastes like at some point they're gonna it, it's gonna be just as good as like prime like sirloin or something if like that's that. true and there's and it's and it's done in an ethical way and there aren't health problems that's great but i mean just oh, even yeah. like looking at like things like like golden rice it was totally overhyped and didn't even succeed in its oh, own wait, we're conflating two different things well I no mean, i'm not necessarily no because i don't have like a blind faith in scientific process and new foods oh I so i'm right. just saying i'm that sorry it was my blind faith in the scientific process showing um, i don't know I, i'm just saying so when you asked me about lab created meat i mean about it. bottom line i think line, everybody noticed it i mean it was strange That's except all. for the whole i bottom just line, explained all of it besides everyone that, should sure. eat less meat calling from a, a two